Okay, so today I would like to show you how to transfer a nuke hive back into a full box. So this nuke was made about two months ago at a different apiary site of ours. Um, so when you're moving hives to new sites, you have to make sure that it's more than three kilometres away or else the bees will actually remember and they will return to their old original hive and you'll lose a lot of the bees. So like I said, we made this a couple of months ago and now they've become too big for their little nucleus hive. So we're going to transfer them into a full box. So we've got a good base and a new box here. Now the only frames that I had today were pre-waxed foundation frames. It would have been better if I had frames in here that already had drawn out comb, but we didn't have any, so we're gonna deal with what we have, and that's perfectly fine. It just means that the bees, once they get into this hive, will have to use their energy and their nectar to draw out the wax before the queen can start laying in there. But that's fine. Okay, so we're just gonna chuck a veil on and put these frames in. So this little nuke box is a fully functional hive. There's a queen in there. She's been laying brood. They've got honey. So all I'm going to do is transfer them into our new box and make sure they always stay in the right order. And I'm going to put them all centrally in the middle and let the bees spread out into their new hive. All right, so like I said, we're going to keep them all in the same order. So bees always like to keep their food reserves on the outside. So there's a lovely honey filled frame there that we're going to put on the outside. So this nucleus box has five frames. So I've got a gap here in the middle of my big hive that's going to fit five frames in. So we can see all our capped brood and our worker bees there. So we're going to move that over. So like I say, this is a fully functional hive. It's just that they've decided that um, they're, they're running out of room. So here's another frame and you can see we've got honey on the outside and they've also got their pollen stores down the bottom here too. So pollen is fed to the emerging bees, the baby bees when they come out, so it's very important. Cool. So you can see all the capped brood on that frame there. So this queen is doing an excellent job inside this hive, laying eggs, which turn into our new workers. There we go, last frame. This is our honey frame for food on the outside. Keeping all the bees, being nice and gentle and slow, keeping all the bees there. We don't want to lose any. There we go. So you can see this is where we've put our five frames from the nuke box. Now it's very important to push the frames together. There we go. So that in here where the brood is, is nice and compact. Now maybe you can't squash the bees because the hive is specifically made with bee spaces, okay? So you can just use your hive tool and push them together because you don't want spaces in the middle but you can have a little space on the outside, that's fine. So now we've got a perfectly viable new single box hive. So our nuke hive in the middle is now going to slowly expand out and fill the new frames with wax and that queen is now going to have all the extra room to lay in. So just remember when you're moving hives to a new area, a new apiary, it has to be over three kilometres away from where they originally were because bees use sight as well as the sun nav for navigation. So they'll actually remember where their old site was and they'll actually return there and you'll lose a lot of your bees. Another thing you'll notice when you transfer bees to a new site, they'll be a little bit disorientated at the start. So you'll see them flying out and doing what we call orientation flights. So they'll do circular flights and that's basically them looking to see what their new environment looks like so that they know that when they do fly out to forage, they'll know how to find their way home. So they will be a little bit confused at the start, but it takes them a very short amount of time and then they'll remember where their hive is and they'll go out and do their job fantastically well.